Hey guys, what's up? I'm here, Mina, with the Realist Reviews, and today I'm gonna show you something that has a lot to do with cars. And by the way, uh, Black Friday has passed. We have got a lot of things to improve our filming from now on, and we're also gonna review a lot of things coming up, so that'll be great. But let's talk about a bit of Black Friday. Well, it has came. And a lot of people saved, including car companies. They actually gave you deals. You could save thousands. That's what they all said on the ads. But what about us, some people that can't even afford a car after all these deals? Well, there's a big solution, and it's obviously used cars. So what's a great app to get used cars? Well, here it is, Carfax. This app is a great app, and it's very simple to use. And here it is, the start. Here's the three buttons. You have your search use cars, saved cars, run reports, sample reports, download my Carfax settings and feedback. And let's get started with it. For example, let's just use a Toyota Corolla. And I will put its 25 miles within, which means that I, I'm only going to... Uh, drive away 25 miles just to get my my car I don't want to drive away too far that's my zip code and certified pre-owned I'm not going to turn that on but step two show me cars with it's actually pretty cool you can select what you want in your car now of course I want no reported accidents or damage and I want it to be a one owner but I don't care about the service supports or the personal use or lease use only so let's see show me now come on and as it loads, it is getting all the data from all the cars around me. And here are a bunch of listings. Now, this might seem a bit complicated to some people, but let's put it on price low to high for all the people that want the best deal. So it'll give you the lowest, which will start right here. You go into the thing. It has the four, four things down here. It says it's a one owner. It was used for pers personal use, has 19 service records, no accident or damage. Just like what I wanted. If you look down here, it has a description. If you go even more down, it has a Carfax snapshot, snapshot, which is a little chart that shows you the things you really need to know about the car. Down here is your specs, like the exterior color, drive type, transmission, and so on. And over here is all your features that the car has now let's go back up and here's the pictures click on them and it will go into full screen mode and you can put it on landscape you can see all the photos of the car now of course you can't the the seller can choose to take pictures or not a lot of some of them do not have pictures put up which i do not like to look at because i can't really see the car so the pictures really help at showing you the details and if the car is anything you like, for example, navigation system. Now, th th this is a pretty great app. It's great for, for people who want to you who are getting a used car or looking for one. It's super easy to use. It'll get you started before you even go out and look anywhere. It ha you can even put it from distance far away from you. Here's like the first one is 1 to 10 miles away. And it says the p p the people who are selling it. And it even says how much miles is on it. And then the number down here. And there's a bunch of cool settings on these bars over here. You can select how m your price for the car. How much you're going to pay for a range. And you can select the model years. And you can select the mileage. I like to make them all unlimited because they really don't matter to me because I just search for the highest price I can get. And as I showed you, the sort by is down here, up here I mean. Filter, you can put any trim of the car you want, any color. And of course you can change your settings whenever you want down here. And yeah, that is all with the side. If we go back... There's also another thing, for example, let's go to Dodge Charger, one of my favorite cars. It's actually searched up already. And I'll just search one up. I'll just get one randomly. See, there's actually new new listings, as it says. They just came up. I haven't seen these in a while. For example, this one. 
there's a heart up there right next to our logo it's it's if you click that it turn of course it gets filled now if you go back here the the shame is you have to go all the way back from your searches you don't have to do that on on an apple device however it would be a toolbar down here it, on my ipad it's like that you don't have to stop searching you can just go to the other other tab but it's a shame it, you have to do that here so under search use cars here's saved cars you can see I've saved some cars already. When you save cars, they go into this tab, and they are saved there for for however long as you want, in case you need to keep them if you're going to buy it later, or keep them if you need the info about it. Like, I have some Durangos here that might fit my family if we're going to get one, especially the one on top. That's a really great one. Dodge is one of my favorite companies. So, yeah, there's the pictures, the description, everything is basically the same for all the cars. And, yeah, that is basically it, guys. A great app for free, by the way. Very good to use. It will help you while getting a used car by trusted people. And it makes everything easier. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And as I said... Uh, we are having some cool tech tech deals coming up. I'll just tell you some as a preview. We are having a printer. We're not sure which one yet. A computer, not sure either. Tripod, it's pretty cool. Uh, so on, a bunch of cool tech. Great things to help our filming. And my bike phone mount coming in, shipping in a while. So we're really going to improve with all the equipment we got. And especially with all of you guys, thank you so much for subscribing and liking. And as always, of course, please subscribe, like all our videos. And yes, and that's it, guys. See you then. Bye.